Edinburgh to Glasgow without any passengers on board. A good opportunity to get you checked out on the Bombardier CRJ-700. While we're waiting in line for takeoff, I'll explain a few things. Flying a modern jet isn't really all that different from flying a small prop plane. There are just a handful of key differences. 80 knots. The first thing you'll notice is how different the instrument panel looks. Instead of many small, round mechanical instruments, there are just a few large computer screens. Most of the information is the same, but the presentation is different. You're over-controlling. Use less pressure on the stick. Good. Stop here. World Travel 221, hold short runway 6 right, traffic is a 747 and final. Positive rate, gear up. Raise the landing gear by pressing the G key. Orbit 526, contact departure. Okay, move the stick to adjust pitch to 10 degrees nose up on the primary flight display, and raise the flaps. Reduce thrust to about 80% and 1 to keep our speed below 250 knots. Climb and maintain 6,000 feet. One last thing. During the takeoff roll, I'll call out four speeds. When I call 80 knots, glance at your airspeed tape to verify it's moving and indicating approximately the same speed as mine. When I call V1, it means we're at the speed where we're committed to taking off because there isn't enough runway to stop at that point. When I say rotate, gently pull back on the stick and rotate the nose into the air. Finally, I'll call V2 when we reach the minimum safety speed at which we can safely climb on just one engine if there's a failure. Holding short, six right, world...